Hey guys, Scott from Beulet Outdoors out here for another day on Cold Lake, Alberta. It's finally calm and nice and we're, uh, we're chasing Lakers. We had a little bit of a later start today, but we've we got a few fish before I started the cameras today, so we're definitely on them. My wife is uh, putting on a clinic once again. So we're gonna catch a few fish here. We're jigging, I'll show you what we're using after and we'll, we'll catch you on the next fish. Wow, we got a runner now. Hit me on the way up and just taken off. This feels like a nice one. Doubled up in the boat. No, he lost it. That was a nice little laker. Better in the water and on the floor. So here's what I'm using this week. I'm just a little tangled up here, hold on. Well, I'll fix that after. Freedom Tackle Head, one ounce, and the Ripper in Chartreuse. They call this radioactive. There's one right off the bottom. Oh, I can feel them rolling in it. Oh, a nice little run. What are we here? 70, 79 feet of water here. Found the leeches on my hook. Oh yeah. The baby leeches. I think those are worms. Oh, he spit it again. Why am I having this bad luck? It's twice today they've done that to me. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. You did. I see it. <laughs> Come on boys, hit it. There we go. That is not very far down. Yep. He chased a long ways. Hopefully we got a nice hook set. Holy. Um, it was just a really good run. I don't know how big he is per se, but we're starting to mark some fish right under the boat. There's one at 50 feet, one at 60 feet, and my guy's right here. Another nice one. there is that you down at 70 
another one here. The wind is definitely become a wind and not just a little breeze. This one right at the bottom with you. Couple, couple two, three down there. Let's see if they want to chase. Nope. Oh, oh yeah, that one did. One that came out of nowhere started chasing. Oh, wow, he chased me hard. when they chase like that. We gotta go to town. There we go. Another one right off the bottom. And that same clip, so it really hasn't been that long. Only about a minute after that last fish is this fish. Just right at the bottom and dogging away from us. We even have a subscriber behind the boat fishing near us. Just met him out here today. His name's John. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> you have to be louder. <laughs> Who? You. Oh, I'm talking to the microphone. Wait, okay. It's a shout out to John so all his kids can be jealous because they're all subscribers as well to the channel and they didn't want to come fishing with him today. So they didn't get to be on the channel and their dad does. There Floral, and there's our fish. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that, right there. All right. Let's go get some more. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, Christina's oh. got a good one on here. So we're just gonna not go back down on my side. I did just say that there's one on the bottom and she picked it up. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I think I'll relax while she fishes. Thank you. I'll just sit here and put my feet up. <sighs> good job, honey. Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. What a great husband, eh? <laughs> oh, come on. You on? Yeah, That's they're on. She got a 74 today. <laughs> Is it net worthy? I don't think so. It's not fighting anymore. No. <laughs> He's tired, so he might be tiny. Uh, my, arm, my arm is sore, so I don't know how tiny. Well, you caught a lot of fish yesterday. Oh. More today. Floral. Floral. 
Yeah. All right. Oh, he's nice. Okay, one. The other one was barely hooked, eh? Well, no, it's hooked good. There we go. I'll hold it. It's a long one. Hi, Maurice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll throw the camera there. We'll get your picture on your phone. Okay. Torpedo. And gone. There we go. Just gotta distract yourself. This was up at 50 feet. Wow, that did not take long at all to get him up. Little guy, really little. Hello. Different colorings though, really orange. Or, okay. That's such a different colored fish there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Go. Just a little gaffer. Woo. Oh, he puked. Fish, fish, fish. You lose him? No. No, you got him still. I saw him on the screen, so I turned and looked at your rod. Oh. <laughs> awesome. So now you have to catch her. Hit it right on the bottom. She was in the rod holder. She does that. Are you on my phone? No. Good. Guy behind us just said that she's schooling us, and she is, once again. We're used to that, though. 30 feet. Nails are pink, my rod is pink. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? This is not Maurice. Ugh. Got this out of your way? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Holy bait bubbles. You got floral? Uh, yeah, you do. It should be right here. There it is. You're not huge. I know. It's a My arm. Thank you. Pliers. Look at the colors. Pliers. Oh. There's her fish. Look at the colors, eh? Yeah, that's, that's normal. Yeah, yeah, a little plain, yeah. not a lot of markings on yeah. the side. Yeah. Boom, torpedoed in. All right, let's try and catch one more. You do? I was wondering. Awesome, awesome. Christina's hooked up again. Uh, I don't know. Lost. 
system possibly? Right there. It's just a little. Is it a burbot? I don't know. <laughs> there it is. That's a Laker. It's a tiny little guy. Oh. Awesome. Well. Don't hook me. Fires. Holy. Were you ever hooked? Another little guy. Torpedo time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, we know who is catching all the fish today, everyone. You got him still? Yeah. She is on fire. <laughs> She's the one that wants to leave. She's got to do some work tonight, but she just keeps catching fish and won't leave. <laughs> I might as well try to catch one. Thirty feet to go for you. Like I said, you guys need pink nails, pink rod. Uh, your rod's purple. Okay. I see. You're okay. He's floating. Look at the it's a fat fit. Uh oh. Hmm. Now we're we gonna grab you. Oh, good. Yeah. Untangle, please. Yeah, he's locked up though. Oh, shucksies. Do you want to bring him in? Oh, I've got to grab him first. No, I think she'll get him. I don't have a good grip on him at all. No, no. He was a roller. Okay, we're gonna get him back real quick. There is another, that's a fatty though. Yeah. It's nice, I'm gonna drop him on his side. And long gone. Nice. It's a little trick I like to do when you see it wrapped up in their face. Drop the fish on the side so he kind of gets like a punch to the ribs like we would or a shot to the kidneys it kind of wakes him up and makes him swim down and that fish you can see him on the sonar he's past 40 feet already so definitely worked in this case and uh, because i find when their lines wrapped around their face they don't burp as well as they should when their mouth is open so just a little tip for you guys you got him oh i saw he's come down i thought he hit you not a girl I'm just gonna put my rod away. That's why we just kept the camera on Christina this time. When I'm fishing with her, I just need a plier holster. Oh, she's doing awesome.
Look out, Floro, yeah. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Ah. He's like a water runner. It's good to see the population in here. I'm oh, not sure how many fish you caught, but that was three in a row in about six minutes. We know that for sure. We know that for sure. Maybe it's full. Alright. I finally hooked into one here. I started to pack up. <laughs> Saw some fish suspended, so I dropped down. They didn't bite, went to the bottom, and picked this guy up. Probably, or not probably, but gonna be my last fish of the trip. It's, uh, I guess, I guess he's not my last fish of the trip. I'm having bad luck with them ripping out today. Yeah. Okay, guys, that is a wrap on this day two of Cold Lake for us. Um, we're back at the campsite. We're just getting everything packed up, back, head back to the city for a week of work, and then uh, more adventures next weekend, hopefully. So, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick go over on the gear here. This is what I'm using right here. Um, it is covered with TRC covers, rod protection and reel protection, just a Velcro there. These guys just slide off and they just protect your rods, protect your investments. What we were using today, myself, who got out fished by my wife, I was using a one ounce Freedom Tackle head with a just a little single tail this is a ripper from true north tackle i've also used champ swimmers from berkeley they're also really good what i have it on is a quantum equalizer uh, eight foot rod medium heavy 10 to 20 pound line rating quantum accurist pt reel because it has the flip and switch on it i love the flip and switch when you push down line goes out as soon as you let go of that switch it automatically pops back up. Just makes life a lot easier when you are fishing with one hand or just when that, you see that fish hit on the sonar, you go after it. What Christina was using was a simple six inch tube jig. I believe they're called Kramer Lakes tubes and a two ounce head with a stinger hook. And I have a lot here. I make these myself. I pour the lead myself and crimp everything, do it all myself there. So. So I had five aught hook, uh, mustad hook, and then a mustad triple grip, um, mustad triple grip, a treble hook on the end. Uh, that's a brand new one there. It just slides in the bottom of the tube. And today she seemed to do better with that. So um, it was fun to get out. We fished with around some people that, uh, some that we knew and some that we didn't know. And uh, like I said earlier in the video there, some, a subscriber was out there and got to meet him, so that was pretty awesome. So it was uh, nice to meet you, John, and we'll definitely do it again. And that's a wrap. So if you guys like this and got this far, we appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure.